My name's Gordon. I'm going to show you how to assemble a small flavor station. If you look at the parts here on the floor, these are, I, well, you're going to get the same amount of parts for a large flavor station as well as a small. The large flavor station is just substantially bigger, but everything looks the same. Um, I'll, I'll describe each part to you. We call this a drain hat. It has hoses. If you notice, there's holes in it which are connected to a hose which drain into a bucket catching your drips. So this is called the drain hat. We call this a, a cup. It looks like a cup. We call this the main assembly, which um, the main portion of your flavor station. I also have a, a wrap, which will go around it to, to hide these jugs. And then you get a five gallon jug. This jug catches your waste off of the, the drain hat as kids spill. It'll all drain into here and catch your waste product. So first thing I do when I go to put it together at an event, I take my jug, I'll locate it in the center so all those hoses can funnel into the middle. I'll leave my lid in there so at the end of the event, I can cap it off and transport it. Next, I grab my hat. If you notice, there's three hoses. I need to get these hoses to make sure they go in that hole. If I miss, I'm gonna fill this drain, the, the cup full of water, or uh, syrup. So I need to make sure I get it in there to catch all the waste. Set, set the hat on it at this point. I grab, grab my main assembly, set it up here. Locate it on the center. If you do notice on this, there's a hole in the middle of that drain hat. There's also a hole in the middle of the main assembly. Those holes are there for when I'm filling this up with product, if I were to spill, rather than filling this up with, with syrup from my spills, it can drain down into the hat. At this point, I grab my, my wrap. It comes pre-Velcroed for you. You wanna find the end, because that, that's where you're gonna start. At this point, break this apart. This is just a low adhesive tape, peels off real easy, doesn't leave any sticky stuff on it. I locate where I'm going to start fastening to it. I'm going to find a spot where, there's, where it can come apart. So I've located that. I now hold this flush with, we call this a donut. Hold it flush with the donut. And I start right on that edge. I just slowly walk around it, pressing it on with my, my thumb. I'm using my hand as a guide, so I know I'm staying flush. Go back, press it on a little harder, come along. And it's that easy. Press it on real good. At this point, if you ever needed to remove it, if you remember, I started where the Velcro was cut. Really easy for me to get in here and look, see what's going on, see if I need to fill flavors, and then reapply when you're done. Real quickly, I want to show you how. OK, now a couple things about the, the flavor station. I'm going to talk to you about this area, uh, the, the jugs, how they come on and off, if you do want to disassemble it. Most people though, if they're an event, they don't want to, at an event, mo I recommend most people not disassembling it. I'll, I'll watch my event when I, when I know it's coming to an end, I'll try to not keep these topped off. I'll let this empty as much as possible so at this point, me and a helper can lift this off, leaving it to assemble loading it in a vehicle, making it very easy for me to reassemble at my next event. And I'm ready to go quickly instead of 
putting each jug in each location. It's just done for me. Um, if you did need to, to remove a jug, I'll show you how that works. If you notice, inside the flavor station, there's lots of hoses, as well as valves. These valves are on-off valves. I can turn the flavor station off. So uh, let's, say in between, let's say it's got to sit overnight and I'm worried about kids using product. I can turn each valve off so when they go to, to open that spigot, nothing will pour out. These valves are also there for, if I were to remove one of these, I need to keep the product in here. So I would turn the valve off. If you notice, um, I'm gripping this valve with my fingers under here. I'm lifting a collar, which I'll show you in a minute, which allows me to pull this off. I've left the valve on it so the product stays in it. How this works, if you notice, there's these collars. On every, pea, on every part, there's a gray collar, there's a white one. If I squeeze that together, it allows me to pull that valve off. To reassemble, you simply push. If, if I don't push that collar, I cannot remove it. So I got to squeeze that in and pull it apart. You always want to disassemble the jug with the valve connected to it. If I forgot, right now it'd be dumping, so dumping out product. So always disassemble with the valve. Now it's like, whoops, I can't remember which hose. If you notice, there's going to be a hose waiting there for me to reattach. I can't remember what flavor that was. It's very simple. I can follow. I can look in here and I can count how many spots it's over. If you notice, there's one, two, three, and four. So I know it's four of these spigots on this side over. I'd go one, two, three, four. I would locate what flavor I've labeled it, knowing, let's just say it's cherry, knowing that this is the cherry spot and this is the cherry jug, I would reassemble. Um, at my event, how would, I, how would I fill this if I were running out of product and I needed to top it back off? I'll explain that to you. See, during my event, I knew I was running out of cherry. I would locate my cherry jug. I would remove the cap. Going over to my, my stand, I would have one of these full of each individual flavor. So I would have one designated for cherry, one designated for grape, ready to go. So all I would have to do is pick it up off the ground, set it up here, and open up the valve, and I would watch it fill up with cherry. If you notice, I've set the jug on here strategically. I don't want to fill it like this, because I would have to hold it the whole time, which is very heavy. So I like to set the jug up here, which frees up my hands. I can watch it, I can be cleaning it as it's filling. Okay, let's say it's full at this point. Turn the valve off. When I go to reassemble this cap, if I screw this cap on all the way tight, it's going to vapor lock, which is like sucking on a pop bottle or a bottle of water. If you don't let air go back into it, the bottle starts to crush. If these are on super tight, these jugs will collapse and crunch. You'll hurt them. Also, eventually, no more product will come out until you give it some air. So, at every vent, I always turn these a little bit loose so that they can breathe and get air and I don't hurt my jugs. That's it, it's that easy.